Good morning, class. My name is Gedari Ann, and I'll be taking you through question three, applied mathematics. So the question says, in a machine manufacturing company, 85% of the nails made are approximately within the state tolerance limit. If a random sample of 200 nails is taken, find the probability that exactly 33 are outside the tolerance limit. When we read the question, we realize that we are dealing with no more approximation of a binomial distribution. Reason being, our end that we are given in the question is greater than 20. When we read the question, they tell us 85% of the nails made are approximately within. So that means that 0.85 is our success for those that are within the state tolerance limit. But they want us to find exactly 33 that are, that are outside the tolerance limit. Meaning what's left when we subtract 1 minus 0.85 is our success for those that are outside. So that's what we are going to use for part one. So from the question, our n is 200. Our p, like I told you, when we subtract 1 minus 0 0.85, you're left with 0 0.15. And since we are dealing with those that are outside, this is our success. And 0 0.85 is the failure because that's what we get when we subtract 1 minus 0 0.85. So, since it's a binomial distribution, we let x follow a binomial distribution of np. Our n is 200 and our p is 0 0.15. We are going to find the mean and the standard deviation because they help us when we are standardizing. So, mean is good by multiplying np. Our n, like I told you, is 200 and our p is 0 0.15. So, we get 30. We move on to find the standard deviation. But we cannot get standard deviation if we do not have the variance. Standard deviation is the square root of variance. So, we first work out our variance. Variance is got by multiplying the number that you've been given, the success and the failure. 30, we got 30 from the mean, since np is the same as mean. So, we just multiply 30 times the q, which is 0 0.85. Then we get 25 from 5. We move on to find the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the square root of variance. That's why we are squaring 25.5. We have been given, they want us to find exactly 33. This is discrete. So we have to change it to continuous by subtracting and adding 0 0.5. That way we can form a new table. So we subtract 0 0.5 from 33 to get 32.5, less x, less, we add 0 0.5 to 33 to get 33.5. Now we have formed an interval. But we have to standardize it that we can change from x to z. We standardize by subtracting the mean and dividing by a standard deviation. We do it for both values. So it's going to be 32.5 minus 30 divided by 25 by the root of 25.5 less z less 33.5 minus 30 divided by the root of 25.5. When we work out, when we subtract and divide, we get 0 0.495 less z when we subtract 33.5 minus 30 and we divide by the square root of 25.5, we get 0 0.693. So now we have our interval. We can represent this on a normal distribution curve. This is our normal distribution curve and they want us to find what's between the two values. So we read the probability from 0 to 0 0.693 and we subtract what's from 0 to 0 0.495. We, we realize that we are getting what's from 0 to, to 0 0.693 and we are taking off from 0 to 0 0.95 so that we will be left with what's here and that's what we are finding. So to get what's here up to here, we read from 0, less z, less 0 0.693, we take off 0, less z, less 0 0.495. When we are reading from our, log, from our logbooks or our figure books, when we are reading from our all, all our four figure books, if we are reading 0 0.693, we read 0 0.6 under 3, we move on to the additional table, what's under 3 we add, so that we can get 0 0.2559, then we subtract, when we are reading for 0 0.495, we look for 0 0.4 under 9, we get that value and we add from our additional tables what's under 5, then we get our answer as 0 0.0662. Thank you. I can now call my discussion.
Good morning. My name is Joan Yoreza. I am making this two questions with such two. The question says, find the probability that between 21 and 27 nails, inclusive will be our pedotoderm screening. What does our question want us to find? We want us to find 27, between 21 and 27, but however, both 21 and 27 should be included in our interval. Who was the next slide? Yes, so we want us to include 21 and 27. So when we're writing our state, we first statement, we write between 21. 21 is less or equal to x and it's less or equal to 27. But however, we want to change this from discrete to continuous. Therefore, we shall either add 0 0.5 or subtract 0 0.5. So, because x is greater than 21, I'm going to subtract 0 0.5. Then, because 27 is greater than x, or x is less than 27, I will add 0 0.5 to make it 27.5. Then, as I change from district to continuous, I will have to get rid of the equal, the equal sign because it's now becoming a continuous variable. So, after making it continuous, I'll have to standardize it so that I'll be able to represent it on a normal distribution curve. As a standardized, I'll get 20.5 minus our mean, which was 30, divided by standard deviation, which is root of 25.5, which will be less than z, less than 27.5 minus 30, divided by the root of 25.5. When I work out this, I'm going to get negative 1.881 on this side and negative 4.95 on this side, meaning my probability is probability between negative 1.881 less z less negative 0 0.495. In other words, I am finding the probability between negative 1.881 and negative 0 0.495. Next slide. So, however, we can't read negative values on our notebooks or the four-figure book. So I'll have to take them to the other side or symmetrically represent them on a normal distribution curve. What I have here will be directly what is on this side. So I am finding what is between 0 0.495 and 1.881. So in the logbook, I will read between 0 and 1.881, then subtract with what is between 0 and 0 0.495 to get what is left in the middle, the probability I'm looking for. Um, so that will be our read between 0 and 1.881 and, and subtract what is between 0 and 0 0.495 as explained earlier. So I'll read 1.8 under 8, then add with what's under the additional table, what is under 1. So here to get 0 0.4705. Then for here I'll read 0 0.4, add 9, then add what is under 5 in the additional table to get one zero point one eight nine seven. So I'll have I'll have this to subtract, which is zero point four seven zero five minus zero point one eight nine seven to give me a final answer zero point two eight zero eight. Thank you.